Today I'm going to demonstrate for you how to assemble a stock implant handler. The part number that I've picked out of our catalog today is a part number 37288. It's a stock 15 cell partition box. Each implant handler consists of an outer box, a lid, dividers going the long way, and dividers going the short way. These will ship to you flat, knocked down, unassembled, and you will have to do the assembly. So let's go through the different components. We start off with a outer box or base container or storage container. And on the bottom of most of the containers are actual assembly instructions on how to assemble this. But I'm going to actually demonstrate this for you. It says here on the first thing that you want to do is you want to form the box and you want to take this flap called A and you want to push it down. There's also these flaps, B flaps. Those are folded over. And you then push down the bottom so we now have everything flat. You now roll over the box and you're going to take the A flap this, and you're going to bring it up. Then you're going to pick up the two B flaps to the sides and you're going to fold the A flap back down again to give you the bottom of the box. At this point you can fold in the top flaps, no particular order. We now have the base container. For the lid, uh, I recommend you pre-score all folds before folding up the lid. And it's folded up basically, fold up the sides, flaps that come on the inside, roll over the ends, locking tabs. Same for the op opposite end. And now is a, that you have a lid. For the dividers that go on the inside, they will ship to you flat knocked down as well. These particular dividers look like this when they ship to you. This would be the short divider. This would be the long divider. The long dividers typically have punch outs that you will have to punch out manually to remove those before folding them. Once you've punched those out, you need to fold these dividers in half. And because we have double thickness partitions here. So this is what the long divider is going to look like after you punch out all of the holes. And to get the double thickness partition folded properly, I recommend you take something like a box edge and put the divider over it and clamp down hard for all of the long dividers and all of the short dividers. It just makes assembly much easier. Then per the instructions that are on the website, we're going to assemble this box in the proper slots. This particular box has me use the second slot on the short partition with the first slot on the long partition. I like to make the four dimensional layout first before I start inserting all the partitions. So once again, using the slots that are on the drawing, start adding the long partitions, in this case, every other slot. And then add the short partitions at the proper location. You now have uh, the full, completely assembled partition. One of the options that are available is to, uh, when you're assembling the box, before you fold over the top flaps, you can have a wire frame it gets inserted in the top of the box for added rigidity to the box. And what that does, it takes out all the flex or twisting of the box itself. It just keeps it very rigid. For the outer container, if you punch out the holes that are in here, you can drop in these ESD handles to give you extra help in picking up the implant handler once it's fully loaded. And for the bottom of the box, we have available a bottom foam pad that just drops in the bottom of the box prior to inserting your partitions. Once everything's in place, put the lid on and you would now have your 15 cell partition box exactly as shown on the internet.
Assembly instructions for every implant handler can be found up on the Protective Pack website. To find it, click in the search field. In this case, we'll plug in the implant handler that we just talked about assembling, and that is a number 37288. Enter. And then I would click on the item number itself, 37288. That brings you to the full information about this implant handler. And under technical information right here about the middle, click that and you'll see a drawing and assembly instructions. Click the assembly instructions. And here you have the page showing how it goes together. It shows the two item numbers for the long and short partition. It shows where each partition fits into the other one and you can print this out for reference and this applies to all the implant handlers in the, in the protective pack line.